good morning all of you this is your second experiment today you will perform percentage of available chlorine in a sample of bleaching powder solution so first we prepare bleaching powder solution by taking 3 grams of bleaching powder and 250 ml distilled water this is the bleaching powder solution it is already prepared after preparing the bleaching powder solution then we fill the bullet by n by 100 hypo solution okay then you pipette out the bleaching powder solution into conical flasks then add there 1 g solid ki followed by 10 ml acetic acid after addition of these two chemicals iodine is liberated when iodine is liberated it gives the characteristic color of iodine that is brown color when it is brown color appear then you start addition of hypo solution from the bullet till that color changes to pale yellow when it is pale yellow color appear then we add the indicator starch solution okay after addition of starch solution it is blue color appear when blue color appear then again we start addition of hypo solution from the bullet till that blue color becomes colorless disappearance of blue color is the end point then one reading is completed okay now come to experimental part first we pipette out 25 ml bleaching powder solution into conical flasks you see we will pipette out and then adjust up to the mark which is 25 ml yes the up to this mark is 25 ml now transport to the conical flask then we add 1 g solid potassium iodide and 10 ml glycerol acetic acid this is potassium iodide now we add approximately 1 g ki then measure of 10 ml the acetic acid okay this 10 ml then add to the conical flask now here iodine is liberated okay now we start addition before adding hypo solution from the bullet first we note out the initial bullet reading it is 0.1 the initial bullet reading so we note here 0.1 the initial okay so this is volume of sample solution prepared at that is 25 ml here now we add hypo solution till is it is pale yellow color appear when pale yellow color appear then we add indicator starch solution after addition of starch it is blue color appear again continue addition hypo solution from the bullet till the blue color becomes colorless disappearance of the blue color is the end point then one reading completed now add drop wise and set add one drop and set up to pale yellow color appear this way you have to add drop wise and set up to light yellow color appear when pale yellow color or light yellow color appear then we add the indicator starch now see it is light yellow yes now we are starch four drops of starch solution is to be added Again, continue addition 
hypo solution from the bullet till it is disappeared. Now add drop wise and set. Yes, this way add drop wise and set up to colorless. When colorless, stop the additional node. Yes, now this is the end point. Okay, now this is 10.1. So again, we write here some final square heading 10.1. Now, volume of standard solution used that is 10.1, final bullet reading, initial bullet reading 0.1. This is 10.0. Now, one reading is completed. Okay. This way, I have taken these three readings. Okay. This is component reading. Okay. Taking this value, you will be calculated all of you note the values which will be required for the calculation thank you so much